welcome to the second show of Club Bucci. My name is Pauline, one of your hosts. And again, this is my sister, Hello. Vera. How are you today? Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing really great. I'm doing all right. I'm doing good too. Hi. 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 <laughs> and what, what do we have in store for the audience today? Uh, for today, of course, we have some dancing as well. We have a few singing performances by our two guests. Connor and JJ. Yeah, and we also have a new DJ for today, DJ Kwame in the house. Yeah. So how are you today, DJ Kwame? Oh, uh, pretty good. All right, and what, what tunes do you have today? Some, some indie artists. Yeah, as, uh, as usual. Yeah. yeah, so stick it there. Hope right. you have fun today. And we also have our co-hosts. Our co-hosts. Yeah. yeah. Jadine and Rachel. How are you girls? You're good. I'm good. I'm so excited. He's very She's excited. Very excited. Oh. Our little Rachel. All right, we have an amazing audience as usual. Make some noise, audience. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. And we hope you enjoy our show. Let's party. Woo-hoo. Our show so far, we actually have our first guest, and he is JJ Assuming Tawia. He is actually in university right now, so unfortunately, he's not able to be in the studio today. But it's okay because we made a Skype call with him earlier, so let's just take a look at the interview. Hey guys. Ask him a few questions. Hi, JJ. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. He's just hopping into it. Hi. <laughs> okay, so let's go on with the first question. Um, how was it being on SNI, and what do you think was your favorite moment from that experience? Um, being on SNI was definitely a great experience. I'm perform to like a large crowd. Like every single month during the summertime was definitely like yeah, I was definitely the highlight of my, my summer last year. Um. Yeah, and my favorite experience was just, you know, singing to people and just, you know, um, watching everyone's reactions and, you know, just just having fun. Like, it was, it was a great experience and, you know, I'm really thankful and really blessed to, you know, have, to have had that opportunity, so. Awesome. Good to hear. Um, so who or what inspired you to become a singer? Um, wow. Well, um, I'm going to have to say my sister. Uh, when I was a lot younger, my sister, she was the one who's doing all these uh, talent shows and she was singing. And, um, you know, I kind of looked up to her and I always wanted to be like my big sis. So I kind of, you know, started singing and I actually took it seriously. And then, you know, we kind of switched roles and I'm, I'm the singer now and she's not singing. But, you know, it all started with my sister, you know, just really happy that, 
you know, she was there for me and, you know, she always supported me from the way, from the beginning, so. All right, so shout out to JJ's sister. Hi. Shout out. <laughs> Uh, so, other than gu- the guitar, do you play any other musical instruments? Um, I played the bass clarinet for two years uh, in high school, but I don't remember how to play it. So, other than the guitar, no, I can dabble on the piano, but besides the gu- besides that, nothing really. Okay. Cool. So we hear that you're going to perform at the Apollo Theater, and can you elaborate on that? That sounds really exciting. Yeah, I'm actually um I'm in a boy band back here in Boston, and uh, the Apollo Theater has this, um, they have this competition called Amateur Night, and they were doing auditions at our school, so me and um, my fellow members, Full Effect, find us on Facebook. You know. Full Effect? Um, <laughs> we, uh, we decided to audition, and luckily we uh, made it, so we're actually performing at the Apollo Theater on August 13th. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of surreal, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And then last question, what do you hope to see yourself doing in the future, like, about 10 years from now? Hopefully, um, I, my biggest dream would to be, um, be able to financially support myself and my family. So that's where I hopefully see myself in 10 years being, you know, doing something related to music, hopefully performing or hopefully writing and, you know, just... I can, you know, help out my family and, you know, make sure that everyone's okay. So that's where I see myself in 10 years. Yeah. Sounds good. So we'd like to thank you, JJ, for taking off, um, taking time, time off yeah. um, from your busy schedule and w- being with us today and Skyping with us. We know how busy you are in university and stuff, so we'd like to thank you. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm JJ, and I'm part of a boy band called Full Effect. Uh, and here's a little preview of a uh, song that we're releasing in a couple of weeks called Sale. So hope you guys enjoy it.
Rachel. No, you're not. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, you're GD and I'm Rachel. Oh, I forgot. And this is Club Gucci. Make sure you pay attention to that. <laughs> All right, so our next guest, we have Connor Nelson. He was actually one of the competitors at the Summer Night Idol 2013. Yes, and this competition was held in Summer Night Market in Richmond. So everybody, please welcome Connor. Hi, Connor. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? We're, We're really Ray. excited. Thank you for coming on our show. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So, are you ready for some questions? Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> so, first question. What inspired you to join the Summer Night Idol or in general, uh, singing competitions? Well, I just uh, I enter competitions to showcase my talent to as many people as I can so that one day I can hopefully be a famous artist. Oh, oh. Ni nice goal. And um, before you get on stage, like, how do you prepare yourself? Um, do you have any like pre-show rituals, or do you have like any vocal warm-ups? Yeah, I warm up my voice a little bit just right before I go oh, out. So vocal exercises. Yeah. Okay. So since you're on the show and you're gonna sing later on, okay. so w why don't you give us a sample? We'll, we'll try. We'll try your um, pre-show rituals yeah. right now. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we choir. do in choir. But we have to stand up. We have to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. But, um, so, <laughs> yeah, good exercise. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyways, who are your musical inspiration? Uh, Demi Lovato, Love uh, Etta James, and Bruno Mars. Nice, cool. good picks. Nice. Um, and lastly, like, what do you picture yourself doing in 10 years? Do you still want to pursue your goal in like the music field or... Do you, what else do you picture yourself doing? Um, I picture myself performing on a stage, yeah. maybe on like a big singing competition. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Connor, for coming on our show. We appreciate it. And we're really looking forward to you performing for us. So are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Hi. So everyone, here is Connor. Connor's performance is exclusively at Kabuchi.tv, so be sure to check that out. But not until after the show, because right now we have a special edition of Club Fuji Raw. That's right. Today is August 9th, and Club Fuji is at the Summer Jam a Music Festival here. Yeah, there's lots of food, comedians, a singing competition, and even a special performance by a group called The Riveras. Hmm. The Riveras? I think I've heard of them. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. Yeah. What do you call a deer wearing a dress? I don't know, but certainly raises some questions. I also think that they should remake Baby Got Back as a Shakespearean play. I fancy large posteriors, and I cannot trick. You other kinsmen can't contradict that when a lady makes her entrance with a minuscule midriff and a sphere in your visage, thou get sprung!
I was walking down the street and I bumped into this guy I know, uh, and he was selling a bunch of calendars and he asked me if I wanted to buy some. And I said no, and I said, why do you have a bunch of calendars? He said, I stole them. I said, why would you steal a bunch of calendars? He said, stealing calendars is the crime of the future. this hard you know Robert, give them both a prize yeah. that, uh, you know what <laughs> two number one all right two number ones so you know what cat you're number two <laughs> Our show is about um, bringing youth together and showcasing our talents, as well as like having fun. There's a lot of dancing on the show, a lot of singers, uh, comedians, um, any local talent.
Hey, Judy, what's coming up to come Fuji? We're going to have games, performances, interviews, and many more. Hey, where did you go? Oh, so that's what's coming to Fuji. Also, by the way, I'm not a Muppet. To our audience, shout out to our audience. Thank you for coming. Make some noise. Woo! Woo We'd also like to thank our DJ Kwame for being with us today. Hope you had a lot of fun. Drop that beat. Come on. Yeah. www.clubfuchi.tv And don't forget to be fun, unique, creative individuals. individuals. See you next time on Club Fuchi.